Each time a man stands up for an ideal or acts to improve the lot of others or strikes out against injustice, he sends forth a tiny ripple of hope and crossing each other from a million different centers of energy and daring, those ripples build a current which can sweep down the mightiest walls of oppression and resistance. You may have noticed that there is an empty chair on the stage. We're going to fill it. This evening we're going to take a step that's uh, rare in recognizing a member of the Mentor Network's senior leadership team with a Ripple of Hope Award. Previously, this honor has gone to those who work tirelessly for people we serve in more direct capacities, but that's why this surprise winner makes so much sense. Dave Peterson, take that chair. <laughs> We're very pleased that Dave's family was able to join us tonight. His wife, Mary, his daughters, Britta and Kirsten, his son-in-law, Trevor, <laughs> and Dave's granddaughter, Genevieve. I think he wasn't aware that they were all going to be here. Devil's Tower rises above Wyoming's grassland and pine forests like a rocky sentinel. The tribes in the northern plains have worshipped near this remarkable geologic formation for thousands of years. In 1906, President Theodore Roosevelt established it as our nation's first national monument. Each year, about 4,000 people climb this vertical masterpiece. The roots range from relatively easy to some of the toughest in the world. It's here among the tower's cracks and columns that Dave Peterson chose to test his mettle. You may not be aware of it, but our Redwood Operating Group president is an accomplished rock climber. Although when you think about it, steep challenges are not new for Dave. He relishes them, much like he relishes a Vikings game or an edgy art exhibit or an evening at home with his daughters. For 40 years, Dave has taken on the challenges of providing the highest quality services and supports to people of all ages and abilities. His remarkable careers tracks our country's struggle to see people with disabilities as equal citizens deserving of rich, rewarding lives in our communities. Dave has helped to lead the way. A lot has happened since Jay, Dave joined REM in 1972. A, a lot has happened. <clears throat> he has progressed through the organization. <laughs> he has progressed through the organization from providing direct care to now directing services across half the country. Throughout that time, he's been a teacher, an innovator, an advocate, and an extraordinary executive. And he has had a sustained commitment to one goal. Executive Director Connie Many has known Dave for 20 years. She describes his focus this way. Dave has a solid grounding in the philosophy of service delivery. It's about relationships and quality services. He understands that at a deep level, because 40 years ago, he was ripping up carpet. Ripping up carpet, that's how Dave began his career with REM in Minnesota. REM's founder, Bob Miller, hired him to maintain a new residence that Bob had opened called REM Pillsbury. When he finished his master's degree, Dave was promoted to a full-time direct care position.
Dave's wife, Mary, recalled that Dave fell in love with people with disabilities. He was drawn to making their lives better. A person's background, history, station in life were irrelevant to Dave. As a program director in the 1970s, he worked with members of the state's correctional system to develop a brand new service model, a group home for individuals with intellectual disabilities who had some level of involvement with the criminal justice system. It was the first of its kind in the country. Neil Brenmon met Dave in 1980 at the beginning of Neil's career with REM. Fundamentally, Dave was always mission driven, said Neil. He was always concerned with what's happening day to day at the intersection between direct care staff and clients. It continues that way. Like Neil, who is now the network's vice president for operations, Dave moved up REM's leadership ladder and then the network's ladder. Today, he's responsible for a wide range of services from group homes and host homes to vocational and periodic services delivered by thousands of employees in a dozen states. John Green, who's the chief financial officer for the Redwood Group, said that Dave has a gift for filtering through the tough stuff and keeping the main objective in his head. Then he fights for it. The two men have been colleagues now for 26 years. Dave's main objective never wavers. Quality services delivered by talented staff in direct contact with the people served. Dave sees clearly the thread that runs through all three. According to Neil, Dave works to understand, to support, and to lead. That's what endears him to his staff. We would go to war for him. As the network CEO, I value Dave's clarity. He has an earnestness, a directness that makes people understand and adopt complex, subtle sets of goals. And no one ever doubts his commitment to the work. It gives him enormous credibility. It's part of the power of his example. Bruce Nardella agrees. About Dave, he said, he's the best organizational thinker I have ever run into. His operation is tightly aligned from top to bottom. He's always pushing himself, and he's relentless when it comes to repeating his mission and goals. If Dave's mission-driven focus generates respect around the network, his personal qualities generate affection and loyalty. Connie characterized Dave as a hidden showman. But for those of us who look forward to seeing the next... <laughs> the, uh, the next pair of trendy glasses and <laughs> statement socks, not tonight, but hidden may be a stretch. Uh, <laughs> but at the heart of it, Connie said, Dave likes to have a good time. It's his zest for life that's his greatest gift to those of us who have been lucky enough to know him along this 40-year journey. There's joy when Dave sees someone he supported years ago. They remember his sense of humor. They value his authenticity. And they still feel his concern for their well-being. They know he is working for them. One need only look at Dave's family for the roots of this remarkable character, to his wife Mary, to his two daughters, and to the loving examples of his mother and maternal grandparents, both Danish immigrants. As you may know, the Danes are famous for their proverbs, which are wonderfully simple, yet profound bits of wisdom. Soren uh, Kierkegaard, the theologian, said, be that self which only truly is. Dave, for four decades of being your remarkable self to the benefit of your family, your colleagues, and most especially to the people we serve, for never losing, losing sight of them as you climbed the professional ladder, and for always considering their needs as your most important criteria. And finally, for your humanity, for leading with your heart and your head so that people of all abilities have the opportunity to live to the fullest. I'm proud to present you with this Ripple of Hope Award. <clears throat>